Today's story is Emily the Astronaut, The Space Case. This story is written and illustrated by Colette Omens Nicoletta. Emily the Astronaut, The Space Case. The term astronaut means comes from Greek words that mean space sailor. The moon is full, just like on the day I was born. I'm Emily, and I want to be the first girl to visit the moon. I wonder how I will get there. Dad says that the moon is made of cheese, and I should ride my skateboard on the Milky Way to get there. That's smart, but this doesn't sound right. What's the Milky Way anyway? My friend Noah did a report on him. I'll ask him. Hi Noah, what's the Milky Way I ask? I want to use it to get to the moon. Noah replies, the Milky Way is the galaxy where we live. It's a spiral shaped mixture of dust gas, and about 200 billion stars, all held together by gravity. Our sun is one of those stars. The earth circles around the sun and the moon circles around the earth. We can see the Milky Way from Earth. It's the wide glowing stripe that you see in the sky on clear nights, but we can't use it to get to the moon. If you want to go to the moon, just ask Hannah, Noah says. The Hannah who moved to Florida, I ask? Yes, says Noah. She says she sees people going to the moon all the time. Let's call her, I exclaim. We find Hannah's phone number on the computer and call her. Hannah, it's Noah and Emily. We want to go to the moon, I announce. Hannah answers, well, I live in Cape Canaveral, Florida, where rockets and shuttles go to the moon. I need to come there and figure this out, I reply. I have to wait a long time for my family to go to Florida. Today, we're finally driving there. At Cape Canaveral, Hannah tells me there's a rocket launch the next day. We can see it if the weather is good. The launch is awesome. First the countdown on the digital clock begins, then the rocket engines start and fire shoots out the bottom. The shuttle lifts off the launch pad into the air with a trail of smoke behind it. It's so exciting, I want to know more. Hannah says, let's go to NASA the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, so you can learn about the moon. We can even see moon rocks there. Dad says the moon is made of cheese. Does cheese have rocks in it, I mutter? Don't worry, Emily. We can figure it out at NASA, replies Hannah. NASA is amazing. We see rockets. We take a bus tour. We touch a moon rock and talk to an astronaut. The astronaut knows all about the moon. So dad, the moon is not made of cheese. On the outside, the moon is like a rocky desert. Its center is made of iron and it's hot inside like the earth. The astronaut tells us that some people want to be the first to visit Mars because no one has been there yet. Now it's time for me to go home. I say, thanks, Hannah. Now I know what to do to get to the moon and to Mars. First, I will go to college and learn about engineering, medicine, and science. Then I will learn to fly planes. I will study another language so I can talk to astronauts from all over the world. I have to stay healthy because astronaut training and space flights can be a workout. Finally, I'll start astronaut training when I'm old enough. Oh, Hannah, I can hardly wait to get started.
the end.